Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's greatly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, you know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you good insight and just give you the uplift that you truly need, please give a thumbs up and share. I'll be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, that failure was a whole, uh, a whole mood of a new flex towards the winning, you know, toward, uh, towards winning. And it's true. Infinite win. You know, a lot of times we get upset because it's just like where we have this picture perfect vibration of where, you know, uh, certain doors are going to open for us for this or some things that you thought that, you know, oh, I've been working hard. I've been working consistent and, you know, I'm still not there. You know, I just constantly, you know, uh, keep going towards these different things. and I just keep getting set back, set back after set back. But, you know, universe and God don't put me on this and I'm trying to sit up here and see why did it keep putting me on different things and yet I, I did everything that I was supposed to do but yet I'm still not seeing you know the fruits of my labor and you have to understand when God say he gonna give you something he gonna give it to you it ain't gonna always be at the time where we expect it to you know we're, we're on his time we on his time clock we're he is not on ours you know because a lot of times we get stressed out the stress is because of what we keep allowing ourselves to keep thinking about you know um paying attention to not you know what we're trying to birth out but we 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 stay focused on the distractions that gets in our way and these are the different things where we're not understanding um whatever is going on in our lives these are the things that is going to be used as an example on you know when i went through these things it is telling me telling me to appreciate the hardships that's going on into my life these are the things that shows me the growth and what's going to take place into uh the next level i'm trying to get to you know if i'm going through something um that is just really not understanding did i have resistance that i put up did i um allow myself to do negative self-talk you know all these different things did i allow myself to really um you know did i put faith in failure instead of putting faith and you know in fruition you know putting my faith in what i'm trying to promote to for um, going to fruition and these are the different things it's telling you you're that whole new flex you know you had to be able to go through these different things in life so it's like you're you're you know it's like where we're at right now this was just like before on the level we were on before this is like we're showing you you had to be able to solve all the bad habits that you have whether it was negative talk it was negative thoughts um whatever toxic patterns you had toxic attachments you had the toxic people the toxic vibrations of yourself you know uh what did you allow yourself to keep entertaining what did you not lose focus on what did you what you put your all into and that was one level that we're going on now it's just like before right after that or probably even during that it depends on what kind of vibration you were on but basically it's like three stages that we're going through then it was just like the different situations on you're fighting your old self you're fighting you're killing that enemy on the inside so the outside enemy can't touch you you know these are the different things where it's like you are letting go of that old part of you we've been living in that old you know that self where we've been comfortable in that and even when it was very uncomfortable even though it may have been different things where we're in abusive situations we're in toxic situations we're dealing with soul ties we're dealing with karmic cycles you know generational curses we're dealing with all those different things and it was just like you had to go through those different experiences to be able to heal forgive let go detach move on you know appreciate show love and gratitude gratitude but depart you know use forgiveness and all those things now it's at that point when we did all that now it's like you learning the lesson from those situations did you did you allow yourself to see the lessons in the situations you were placed in with different people did you allow yourself to use uh the part with love the part with gratitude and it's like a lot of times and it's like how are you able to depart with love and gratitude when it was a negative situation that negative situation taught you a lot you know those situations with those people taught you a lot the different things that even mirrored and taught you a lot about yourself you know these people in your life are mirroring 
exactly what you needed to be able to pay attention to so you can be able to heal so you can be able to detach so you can be able to move on conquer move over you know not move over but overcome all these different things is taking place to where is that because it's just like that failure was preparing you for that ultimate flex of a win you know and this is intimate wins it is like infinite wins it's just like when you can see these things instead of you know allowing yourself when th different things come up or certain people come up or just so happen you see that person are you going to allow you know because universal set you up in different ways just to see if that energy going to change it'd be somebody that you had an attitude with or somebody who really ticked you off or somebody who really hurt you and it could be, you know, you may see them in the store, you may see them in passing, you know, you could be out on the road and next to you know your car is next to them, or you may be leaving a parking lot, or they're coming into a parking lot, or they came and sat high, or you may have seen them with somebody, all those different things. And it was just like to see if your energy was gonna change. Just like you could be at that type of vibration and saying, Oh, you know, I'm not gonna hold no no grudges against such and such anymore, or I'm going to allow uh you know these different things to take place and you know am I going to allow myself to heal am I going to allow myself to forgive and then God was like oh okay so you, you said you're going to let go of that all right and they said you know throughout the week it'll be that same exact person that you said that you you know you you you, you just you you good you good and it was just like it's going to either show you like are you going to be trying to fight this person you're trying to go off on that person is even though if you may not say something is your energy you know even though you may think you won but if that energy is still the same it's like no you didn't win but it's just showing you where you know you still holding that person you know that a person of that thoughts of what they did you still holding it hostage this is that that thing where it's showing you they still have an effect on you they still having the power so they're telling you if you meet that person again you see that person again take get your power back give them theirs back give that energy back and you take your energy back but you detach from that learn that lesson about what that person taught you or you know different things is going on with that these are the different things that's taking place where you're healing from that so next thing you know if you went through something and you actually did it good and it's like even though that may not have happened and it, it, it happened that's not saying it didn't do good because the good thing is it's showing you this is where you needed to heal from anyway you're still holding attachments to what that person did what kind of effect it has and I was always told when you see somebody you know who did the bad to you into your life and then when you see them and you still all that you know you still ready to fight them you still ready to pop off at them you still ready to give it to them you know you ready to throw hella shade on them that's just showing you 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 giving that person that power to say dad what I did to them it still affects them but if you do something and they know you really to unleash the beast of where this person need to give you that whole smoke and or they, they need to give you your you know need to beat your behind and hand it right back to you or even take you up out of existence and they ain't calm as a fan on you or cool as a fan on you and they know what you did you know that they know that you did something and, and, and they know it's like dang and they know the whole truth of it and they still act calm that should be a scary thing they'll be more scary for the person that ignited that mess on you than the person that it affected because that's gonna let you know I healed even though it, it, it's just the fact that you may not be plotting, but it's just the person that know that they did you wrong and they never apologized, never accepted, never admitted that they did anything, they're going to still hold that guilt. Then they're more be more mad. It's like, is this person going to sneak me? Is they going to do this? Is they going to do that? And then it's just like, no, nah, I gave that to God. I'm going to let God deal with that. I'm going to let him handle that. But I moved on with that. And that's telling you, congratulate yourself because you ultimately heal from that situation you have no debts with that person you have you don't clear your karmic debts with that person you don't clear their karmic instinct that uh, that vibration that tied with them and you can allow yourself to say you let it go with love you let it go with gratitude and compassion because they taught you so much about yourself they taught, taught you so much about them or whatever and it's just that you already know whatever God has in store, it has in store for that. But you can allow yourself to know when you saw that situation, you see how you handled yourself. And that's all about all the different things that's coming up into your life. To where if you had failed one time, it's showing you there's a lesson behind that failure that can lead to success. And it's going to show you different things that comes in where, you know, God may show you, oh, this is it, though, this is it. And then we get mad when God has sit up here and made it post up, present certain things and finesse the heck out of us and make us think, oh, that's going to be the next door. Next thing you know, it isn't. 
and you all mad as I don't know what. And he was like, man, they, she is really mad or he is really mad because I told him this is, is that door. And I realized, and it's like not God trying to play, you know, my games with you, but just being able to show you. Um, I just wanted to see how you were going to act when I say that this is it and then turn around it's not going to be here. You're just going to say, okay, you know, out of experience of being him, you know it's going to be feeling like, why does God keep playing with me? Why, you know, I'm already going through enough stuff and he's playing with me. He's trying to see how how far your faith is going to go in him. Go to him. It's like, even though I said this was it, it is just because the fact is, I, when I see how you responded to that, that let me know you're ready for what I'm going to give you. And even though, you know, you are being obedient, even when I told you to go through that door and that door is not what you expected it to be. And you still did exactly what I did. That's letting him know that you still hold that faith in him, even though that has happened. And that was just a test because it'll just be like you get mad, but then it'll be in the back of your mind. This was a test, wasn't it? Like, yep, OK, I passed it because I didn't allow myself to sit up here and, and take it personal for what he said, even though he tried to tell me this is what this was. And it end up being a whole L. And it's okay. You know, a lot of times it's hard for us to constantly take L's back to back to back to back to back to back to back. And it's at that point where universe is telling you, you know, even though you feel like, I don't know how much I can take from this. And a lot of times he'll try to remind us, you are so much more powerful than you really give yourself credit for. You know, you really don't know what you have. You know, even though we know you're tired, even though we know you're on the verge of breaking up, breaking, breaking down, we know that you're on that verge of just, you know, just really, you're, you're just emotionally, mentally, spiritually tired all the way around. But we're giving you that energy to keep being consistent. We're giving you that energy to just be preparing you for more than you ask for. We're giving you that energy, even when people are walking out your life or different things that's just going against you, is just showing you this is this is not meant for you. These people are not meant for you. You know, wherever you're going, they're not meant to go with you. You know, these are the different things that's going to take place to where, you know, we're going to bring people out. We're taking people out of your life that is not going to be beneficial to what you're doing. That may be, you know, critical to what you got going on. But when we're bringing those people out, they're never going to take something out without bringing something back better. And these are the different things to where even if you're by yourself, it's telling you. I needed you to be a better friend to yourself. I needed you to work on yourself to see what is going to keep you going, what's going to keep you magnified, what's going to keep you in your ups and ups, you know, to give you that insight, What what's going to be um, that thing that I needed you to pay attention to yourself on what you need to work on, what did you need to heal. And it's just a, th those different times because it's just like even though you're failing, these are like this is not actually a fail for you. This is a win because it's showing you where you put your where you put your all at. Even though when you giving it your all, your all, your all, and it's like you're seeing so much little in return, you know. And it's like showing you you put your all into it. It's not something that you were forced to do. This is something that you were very compassionate about. These are the different things that you want to add towards what I'm giving you already. What it is, so that's a win to you because it's showing you there's other things you have gave up on. There's other things that you have just lost interest. As soon as you put it in, you, you are ready to put it down. Like, mm -mm, this is a pretty pen, but this is just not. It just doesn't give me the writing that I want. Or it's not that one that has that good writing to it. It's not a good pen. You know the ones that you would straight straight take from somebody just because you're like, oh, damn, girl, this right good. You know, it's like that. But like, uh-uh, give me that pen. <laughs> I'm like, give me that pen. Uh -uh, this is my good friend. This is my favorite pen. And this and this. And I remember I used to ask my daughter. I'm like, oh, she's like, Ma, look. This pen is really good. I'm like, oh, the, you got a nice one. Can I get a mama get one? You know, it would be like one of those situations. But then it was just like, that's where your wins at. Even through your, your failures. This is showing you where you win at so much. It's like being able to stick a positive in a negative situation. And this is where every time you're able to do that, they're showing you showing where all the magic is at. When you can allow yourself, you can be that pessimist. But just because of this situation, you have been op you've been looking through an optim optimistic optical, where you have sat up here and seen everything. Maybe you know I wasn't ready for this emotionally and mentally. And sometimes it's hard for us to do that. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you know you've been working on something so hard and you feel like, why is God not? Is God overlooking me? Has God forgotten about me? And it remind me of that song uh, by Creed is talking about children don't stop dancing and it's just like and that's basically what he said he used to pray to God and you know, all these different things and he thought he forgot about him because there's so many people out in the world he forgot about him and made me think about a song by um 
what's the name, uh, Lauren Daigle. It's like, I'll rescue you. Don't think that you, you know, your innocence was stolen. Don't think that I won't rescue you. Don't think I won't help you through this. Don't think I won't shelter you. All those different things is taking place. And it's just trying to show you. You know, even though you be steady taking L's, these are a very big game for you. Don't allow yourself to see failures as failures. These are the things that's showing you that you're fueling yourself. You're allowing yourself to be persistent. You're allowing yourself to be consistent. These are the things that's taking you to that next level. So you can be able to say even that failure wasn't an actual failure. It was a win. And it's preparing you for another ultimate win. And these are the things that's telling you that got to stay consistent. You know, if you get this as soon, if it, it, it's just like a lot of times we got to see if universe had gave us every single thing that they were going to give us right off the bat, would you actually be grateful for it? Would you actually show appreciation and gratitude? Would you actually keep it going? Because every time you already know, oh, if I just sit on this and ish on it. You know, they're always going to give me something else. You know, now be just that thing because you're always anticipating that they're going to give it to you. And that's the reason why a lot of times there'll be certain things that you barely put work in for and boom, you are able to get it. But then there'll be different things that you went through and you had to really work hard for it. And then when you're going to work hard for it, these are the different things that happen where, you know, it, it, it came hard. You had to go on a grind. There'll be different times where... You weren't able to have that whole night of uh, uh, different things that was taking place to where you had to be able to, you know, there'll be sleepless nights. There'll be different times where you weren't able to hang with friends. You know, there will be different things that took place where, you know, it, it was like one setback after another. You know, you put in for this and next, you know, the next thing didn't work. Or there'll be different things with this and then that didn't work. Or you put in extra weight in this and then, you know, it fell back on again. And then you'll get frustrated. And then, it'll, but it'll be just certain things that you'll wake up in the middle of the night. And then next, you know, you'll find out insight about something else, about this certain situation. But it collabed and added on to an extra blessing that you were already working on. Or it'll be a different thing where you'll get insight in the middle of the night. It was telling you, you got this, but you got to go in a different direction. Or it'll be a different thing that you may have big, made a biggie out of and it was just one little adjustment and end up blowing it out of the water, end up giving you a, a whole extra than you did have. And these are the different things was telling you you built up to create that whole new flex with you. Fam, you know, these are the different things that's taking on into your life that is preparing you. So if you're going for major setback and setback, it's preparing you for that huge comeback. You know, if you had that tremendous fail, this is preparing you for that ep epic revolution of 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 of, of uh, prosperity, you know, or abundance. These are the things that happen like you wouldn't really know what to do or what to be grateful for if you never had to really go all in for it. If you you would have never like if you were you were trying to um you know, there's a lot of people that keep coming to me, Rosalind, I'm, I'm waiting for that kingdom husband, I'm waiting for that kingdom wife, or whatever. And, you know, it's like, why do I got to keep going through these downfalls? How come, you know, every time I date somebody, it just ain't coming through? And it's just like a lot of times when we're not patient for that, you wonder why it's not working with the people that you that you are wanting. Maybe it's because the fact is this is not that person that was destined for you. This is that time that they wanted you by yourself. This is that, that time they wanted you to work on you. You know, this is that, that time for you to reflect on the past relationship you had and see the do's and the don'ts on what was not supposed to be right for you what you shouldn't have uh, allowed yourself to condone what you shouldn't entertain you know what you should have said no to when you said yes you know all these different things so or there'll be different things to saying you know I got this for you but you weren't willing to sacrifice this you weren't well ready to you know to not submit to this or these different changes and it's just like when you're going through that you know, when you're going through a series of tests for that, you know, it's just like, you know, even the way I look at it is kind of the same way about, you know, twin flames. You know, when you're going through twin flames, they give you that initial reaction. And there's a lot of y'all that came to me and say, Rosalind, you know, I thought I was on a twin flame relationship. And next thing you know, I was on a false twin experience. And I said, that is an actual blessing. They were like, Rosalind, WTF. Why is that a good thing? I said, because that fake one, they tried to it, try to convince you of that being your twin flame put you on that journey of a twin flame to actually know what a twin flame is about because a lot of times you don't even know what a twin flame is everybody has a twin flame in the world and i didn't even know that i mean there's like i said there's more research i do and there's more amazing things that i find out just about our our 
you know, our, you know, spiritual path of purpose where there's everybody has a twin flame. Everybody has that that second soul. There's always somebody looking for that person, you know, where you feel something is missing out of your life. And, you know, you're on that twin flame journey. And these are the different things. And sometimes it starts off with people that claim that you're they're your twin flame and then you don't realize that universe was using them just for the fact is you found out like what's a twin flame and then you go looking for it you know go looking for these different things you know we're like what the heck is a twin flame i'm thinking it's like a group you know some kind of band or something like that you know i ain't know what those different things were but then it was like it put you on that that journey of figuring out what a twin flame is what are the characteristics what's to look for what happens you know all these different things that person was a blessing that was sent to you even though they, they did you like that because I, I can see where different people it ended tragically because of that situation because it really bombed them and um and these are those different things like you had to be able to go through that to know your twin flame is out there but it just is not with that person and you for you to be able to do that there are some people that you find out you know in, in a traumatic way or a drastic way that you you met that that person that was a twin flame y'all always had some kind of ties they even say something about the red ribbon you know the Chinese red ribbon in the life where this is a person that y'all had soul contracted for since the beginning of time y'all always were in each other's life some kind of way you played a major part in somebody's life until you got to that one one year that this is going to finally be your time you know other times it's like either that person done passed away or you, you done passed away or there, there was a certain situation maybe you know one of one of y'all been married or different things like that or you took the took the role where you you probably gave up on the whole situation altogether and but it was just like always that time there was always a red ribbon that tied y'all together since you know even before since you got here so all these different things had to go about so there may be, you know, when you're looking for that kingdom wife or kingdom husband, there's always certain things that you would stay adamant about doing. Even if it was wrong, you stay adamant about doing that. But when it came to this one person that universe and God had destined for you, there will be different times where you were so adamant about doing things with different people this whole time. And all of a sudden when God said, I have this person for you. But you're going to have to change this, 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 and this, and that. And you can't do this, 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 and this, and this, and that. You be looking at like, wait a minute, what? You know, so you had to go through all those sacrifices. Like, there's always that one person. You probably hear that, that quote that they say, there's always that special one that you're willing to change your whole life for just to be able to have that touch of happiness, that touch of love, that touch of a, a blessing, that touch of a, a, you know, a union that you're willing to do. But you had to go through those moments of, you know, uh, of temptation. You had to be able to go through those moments of sacrifice, that pain, that anguish, that hurt. These are the different things you had to go through. So this wasn't, even when you go through things and it was a major setback, you're going to get to a point in your life and saying, this wasn't a setback. This wasn't a mistake. This was something that was destined to happen anyway. And it, it, it showed me the right, the wrong, the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows out of that situation. So that was a preparation of a total win right there. That was just showing me, you know, if I really want this, you know, if you really want this, you're going to have to wait for it. If you really want this, you're going to have to work hard for that. If you really feel like you deserve that, you're going to do everything to show this yourself that you do, do deserve that. If you know that there's different things in your life that you need to have, but you're attached to certain attachments, you're going to know if this is what you want, you're going to have to detach yourself from certain entities. You're going to have to detach yourself from certain vibrations. You're going to have to detach yourself from some kind of thought that you have. And these are the things that's coming up. So it's just like when you're going through this, this is preparing you to know that you that failure is is creating a whole new flex of a, uh, of an infinite win. So I hope you were able to resonate with that that um that content, y'all, or you know, insight, whatever you want to call it. I want to give a post notification shout out to Nick's Night Linger and Storm. Much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, much love to you. Uh, oh, and I want to give a post notification out to Ray Fisher. I don't know if I said that or not. It's so good to have you. Well, it's not so good to have you because you've been with me for a long time. I meant to say it's so good to hear from you. So if you're new to my channel, please drop a line. I would love the chance to be able to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I always leave my contact information in the description box below. Like, you know, I'm going to start saying now, 
You know, because there's more to my channel. I try to tell people because people are like, Rosalind, I see your videos, but I don't know how to get to your community section. I always tell anybody, if you hit my, you know, you hit my, my, my avatar or whatever, if you see that, you know, you can come down to my channel. They say, it says home, it says video, and then it says community. I think it says playlist and it says community and it says about. And when you get to the community part of it, it shows where my, 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 um, my, uh, podcast is i tell people also in the description box below i leave my podcast link to the description box and my for uh spotify is you know it's a hayoka podcast it's not the same as that i do there's it'll be different subject content uh that i do um but it also leaves different insight you know about different things that we're all going through right now that you may be wondering you know how come i'm losing sleep why I'm, why the old memories keep coming back why i keep visualizing things that hasn't um took place in my life all those different things i leave on there you know even if it's something that you're going through um that it that is very dark it's very heavy you know i try to leave positive you know insights up you know just let you know you know hey don't give up you know this this pain is it, you know is bringing up ultimate pleasure you know different things like that that gives you know an uplift I also put empath memes up there you know even if you need a little giggle for that day I always make sure I put that up there and um, I always drop gems you know I was called the new gems it's like you know telling you about toxic toxicity you know what love feels like you know what sorry feels like what when when people are ghosting you what to say when you want to ghost somebody else what positive way about it and it's like different techniques and different insight to uh know what you're dealing with you know especially if you're a person that has uh been in a narcissistic you know relationship there'll be different things that you know puts up for that on um on what to deal with or what to know when you're dealing with narcissistic people and all those different things so so, you know, if you, you ever want to see those different things on there, you know, I just don't do videos. I drop, you know, podcasts as well, as well as different insight to help you on that. So, you know, I, I said, let me go ahead and start doing it because there are certain people like Rosalind, you know, I don't know. What are you talking about? What podcast? This and this and that. And it has the list, you know, of that. You know, sometimes if you're on YouTube and you scroll up on the timeline, sometimes you see my post that I put up. But sometimes people don't, you know, and there's a lot of people that's regular here. I'm like, hey, go past my community page and you see these things. And they ain't going to realize I've been doing this for almost two years now. And there'll be so many different things that I have on there, too, that you can uh, be able to engage in as well. So it's just like, you know, me leaving my contact information is uh, just for uh, spiritual networking to be able to help you give you a, under, a deeper understanding of your path of purpose. Being able to understand what's going on in your life and why did it happen that way. It's one of my gifts. I, I love the fact is I can be able to interact with people, you know, and being able to help you out and give you a deeper understanding as best as I can. Whatever we discuss is uh, uh confidential and i help out the best way like i said i'll leave my um my link to my podcast for spotify and it's on different um podcast stations you may be able to find it there as well as the distribution rs uh was rss feed on there as well um and if you feel like you know generous enough to drop a donation the cash app is there as well you know whatever you're trying to manifest into your life i'm giving you you know that beautiful vibe that gives you that extra prosperity that extra abundance because you truly deserve it you know whatever you've been working hard for you have not yet to see the fusion of that that's preparing you for more than what you asked for so please stay persistent and stay consistent you know like i said that failure is a, a whole new mood of uh, ultimate flex It's a whole new uh, that's why i meant to say not a whole new mood but a whole new flex towards the ultimate winning you know, and these are the different things that you deserve for that, you know, because the enemy and the devil is going to always try to convince you to give up and quit, you know, because you never know. They may get you to do that today because you end up having a blessing tomorrow. So stay persistent and consistent, okay? Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. They can really take somebody a long way. And just because you took your time out to do that, you know, it's going to take you even further. So please go ahead and do that. That's just great. We appreciate you. We're making the world change. We're giving love out, you know, so... You know, I hope you have a blessed, prosperous week. Please be safe and responsible by everything you do. You'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Namaste. Peace.